Thank mm -hmm.
Hello, my name is Aliyah Lay. I am an actor in America. I am Asian American. And what I want to say that we still need as an Asian American woman currently in America is more representation still in the writers' rooms as the directors in producing in the entertainment industry, as well as representation on screen. Um, and not just representation for the sake of having diverse cast, which is great, but also representation in terms of being able to share all of our unique voices. So being an Asian American woman, my experience may have some similarities, but it will be definitively unique to me as it is for any other Asian American woman in America. And that we want to increase the awareness that females, Asian females, all females, are essential, essential for the improvement of our species and of the world. And we can support each other by treating each other with respect and kindness, compassion, and allowing all of us to be seen as who we, as a unique individual person is. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Sunella Jayasuriya and I'm honored to be a part of the Lady Asia Power documentary. With my one minute snippet, I want to say that investing in women has a positive impact on the community and the economy. I would like to bring up the importance of making the workplace a more conducive one for working pregnant mothers by enabling facilities such as milk stations and breastfeeding stations, a designated room which includes a refrigerator where the breast milk can be safely stored until it's time to leave and head home. This simple yet meaningful measure in the workplace by corporations reiterates the corporate values and the commitment by the organization towards making the company truly a diverse and inclusive one. I appreciate you. Thank you. Hello friends, Namaste. This is Sarika from India. It's my privilege to have my one minute talk in Lady Asia Power. A country grows, a country blossoms, a country unites when they value their women. Women are the, that those powerful pillars of a nation. We stand together with the men to make a nation beautiful. How we will empower our women? What I thought of making our Asian women, that a half of the population of the women, they are living below the poverty line, deprived of the basic facilities of life like education, hygiene, health, food, safety. They, are, they don't have this privilege. But one thing is that we have to make them skillful. If we are going to give them vocational training with skill development programs, they will earn to, they will allow themselves to get their livelihood by entering into various startups. We have to think of giving them startups opportunity where they will be participating in empowering the economy. There are various industries, small scale industries like cottage industry, candle industry, handloom industry, healthcare industry and leather industry, jewelry industry. So many small cottage industries, they have the openings for women where they will participate, they will earn their livelihood, they will learn some skills. We have to train them with internet, basic internet skills, so they will be knowing what is globalization, how much women are participating in the globalization process. It's a basic time, it's a time to empower our women by giving them the good training skills a knowledge of internet, the knowledge of globalization, the knowledge of women empowerment. Uh, every small woman 
from a poor background also can contribute to the growth of economy let's friend let's unite together to uplift our women in asian country and we have to make our continent more beautiful more empowered and more skilled by uplifting our women growth thanks everyone namaste Women in the venture capital space is no means an easy feat, but I've managed to actually build Kansen Ventures from scratch, and it has been around two years now, uh, fundraising and also meeting the potential stakeholders and investors. What we do is that we invest into companies and startups uh, to actually scale to greater heights. It can be uh, companies from any kind of vertical. Uh, you can be in um, e-commerce, healthcare, software, uh, IT, AI, blockchain, any of the sort. So we are here to actually help uh, companies grow and scale, and uh, help to connect with in other investors as well. So I would like to commend Lady Asian Power for their initiative to encourage women from all backgrounds to strive further and to put in more effort and power into what they're doing to build themselves and the nations that they're in. Kudos to Lady Asian Power. I'm Farah, I'm from Kanzun Ventures Management and I wish you all the best in your future and divorce and entrepreneurship journey. Take care. This is Miss Suji from Singapore. I am so honored to be representing Singapore on Lady Asia Power documentary. I am an empowerment coach, an ikigai coach, and laughter coach. I love to save lives of people by guiding, coaching them how to find their purpose, their vision, what are they good at, help them find their skill sets, make them feel empowered by coaching them guiding them on finding the ikigai and getting them to learn how to get the dosage of happy hormones so that they can live a very happy blissful and peaceful life thank you so much for having me thank you for giving me this opportunity to represent singapore on lady asia power documentary i want all the girls and women of the world to know that all of you have voices please speak up for yourself please be kind to yourself and love yourself and for the rest of the world know that all of us are designed very beautifully we have the power to be at our best to live at our maximum potential it's all about knowing your true powers and tapping on your strengths and not to uh, talk so much about your weaknesses so i'm sending you lots of lots of positive energy love and happy vibes from singapore this is miss suchi the only female laughter coach in the whole world who conducts 100 types of laughter exercises and i love to save lives of people who feel sad low and depressed for some reason thank you so much for having me till i see you next stay blessed Mabuhay! That's a greeting in the Philippines meaning to live. My name is Dorothy. I'm a cancer survivor and I'm from the Philippines. I'm a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. I completed my studies at the Asian College of Technology. At a young age, I got fascinated with computers and how it works and why it works like that. That's why I decided to get it. I spent years working in BPO industry. BPO stands for Business Process Outsourcing as customer support and virtual assistant for mostly US and UK clients. 
basically a virtual assistant is a self-employed worker who specializes in offering administrative services to clients from the remote location, um, usually a home office, just like this. I'm very grateful to be here in the U.S. and to showcase my skills for businesses who need my services. To be empowered is to be able to help others. For me, the best way to help is to first educate yourself on whatever skill you want to improve on, apply it, and then grow from it. Again, this is Dorothy and I'm from the Philippines. Hi everyone, this is Nusrat from Bangladesh. I am honored to be a part of the Lady Asia Power documentary. I'll talk about promoting women's empowerment for better health and education. Give me an educated mother. I shall promise you the birth of a civilized educated nation, said Napoleon Bonaparte. A nation can only improve its country's growth if every woman is educated. 80% of women should be appointed in teaching, government and non-government schools, colleges, universities and coaching centers. Everywhere women should get chance for getting a job so that they can educate our children for future generations. The development and empowerment of women is key to the progress of any country. Increasing women's participation will not only work, women will have to come to the leadership level. Women's expansion is needed both qualitatively and quantitatively. It is necessary to work in a coordinated manner at the government and private levels for growth of women and contribution. Healthcare also appears to be the best industries for working women on several extents. In the provider subsector, including hospitals, health system, and physician practices. Over the past year, women have been standing tall at the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic as healthcare workers, caregivers, paramedics, nurses, and doctors, and notably they have set an exemplary leadership in the health sector. Women can contribute to the every sector of a society, like political, economic, social, psychological, and educational. They can enjoy social strife by empowering women raise their status through education, awareness, literacy, and training. Mr. Barack Obama said, if women are empowered, a country is more safe, secure, and prosperous. Thank you. Hello, my name is Sunday. I'm actually from Taiwan. Here's a little bit background about myself. I'm recording this video for Asia Professional Working Woman. I got the connection from Sanella. Um, about my background, I have been working in Japan for 12 years. And before that, I actually went to England for my education since I was 14. So I've been spending 12 years in UK and then moved to Japan for my uh, professional working experience. My professional working experience background is career coaching. So I have been working as a recruiter, headhunter, and now an independent business advisor for companies to do talent transformation as well as talent strategy. I'm very excited to be presenting this video to you as I feel like I can help lots of Asia ladies to boom themselves and be very contributive to the society. I hope you like the above video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach me. Thank you. Mm -hmm.